So if you're kind of stuck in the middle and you start asking yourself questions like, hey Josh, do I get the little starter camper with no slide? Do I get the big one with the slide? My answer might be, why don't you try something a little bit in between? And I think that's why this one has always really attracted me. Whether it's going to be your first family camper or if you're upgrading from a no slide or from like something like a pop-up or a hybrid, you're really going to like what you see here. And Jayco's probably done one of the best versions of it that there really is out there. I think that's why a lot of brands have stopped building it and theirs remained successful. Little details like the fact that it's taller, has a little bit bigger refrigerator right there, and 600 pound rated bunks as well as a carpetless floor flush slide. All those are big, awesome, friendly features that a lot of families are going to like. Like good outlets in the bunks that shower is massive if you got to get in there and bathe the doberman you can do it it's not only tall but it's also just big and wide that u dinette folds down into a large sleeper as well and there's sliding privacy doors to close this off in case you want to expand the family